Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the Beretta 92FS, the first gun I ever bought. The Beretta 92FS, it's it was my I think it probably still is in terms of the looks and my favorite pistol. Um so ever since I was a kid, uh growing up in the 80s, uh like the like my favorite favorite pistol is the Beretta 92 FS. So when I actually uh started shooting, um got my gun license, the first gun I bought is the 92 FS. Uh obviously, um I I bought a I I didn't even think about okay whether it's actually a gun that fits me or whether it's a good a reliable performance wise as well as accurate whatnot I don't care I just want to get it so I got that as my first pistol and uh, no regrets because definitely I do uh, would basically uh, always want a 92 FS in my collection anyway so um, yeah so naturally I got that as my first pistol um, even though it doesn't really fit me well but uh, <laughs> I'm actually still shoot the shoot the yeah shoot it pretty well like in actually my most accurate and tight groups on in uh 25 meter is still accomplished with a uh 92 fs even though technically uh, my hand because i do have a smaller size hand uh and it and the brada is a pretty big gun the grip uh uh, it really doesn't fit me, but I still shoot it well, um, and uh, I enjoy shooting it. Um, it's a great gun. It's actually very reliable, and uh, haven't had any issues with it. Uh, well, not no issues. Like actually, um, recently with the aluminum um, uh, uh, ammo, I actually got a few jams here and there. But um, so there's some stove pipe. But uh, in the past, like with regular brass. There's no issue. There's no jam, nothing. Um, I, but I don't do too much rapid fire with it. Uh, actually, the jam came with like basically doing rapid fire, like doing like a, a fast, fast, uh, like, yeah. If I do it like kind of like a slow fire uh, thing um, with it, there's no issue whatsoever, even with the aluminum a uh, ammo. Um, yeah, and then there's, um, uh, in terms of the reliability, is I think it's great. Um, accuracy is really accurate and it's very easy to shoot um i there's not much uh flyer sometimes i get with let's say a, a lighter polymer pistol like with uh with the beretta i'm pretty consistent in terms of uh shooting it very accurately uh in my obviously my my terms of accuracy like obviously like i'm a, compared to someone who can do like one inch hole and things like that that's not me but still like for me it's very accurate like i i uh uh, I shoot well with it. Um, yeah, and uh, just to talk a little bit about uh, its uh, history, a, a lot of people probably know that it's, uh, it was the standard Army, U.S. Army issued uh, sidearm pistol uh, since 19, the mid 1980s, 85, I think. And uh, it's been their standard issue pistol up until recently when it was replaced by the six hour p2 uh, p320 so um so it has a, the it has a long history uh and obviously a uh, robust reliability um and uh yeah there's um some law enforcement that uh used it and still using the brother 92 fs uh but obviously a lot of them had been moving on to glocks but still, it's a great gun. Uh, it's a bit big for a nine millimeter, uh, especially the grip. Like I, I find the grip, it's a, it's a. Uh, I think someone with a little bit bigger, larger hand would definitely be a better fit for them. Um, uh, and actually, I'm stupid enough to actually put a, <laughs> like a hard, uh, a grip with finger groove, which actually makes it even bigger. <laughs> but I, I actually like the feel of uh like the r rubber kind of thing uh, i'm not too big of a like a uh, like a more modern like a g10 or maybe texture grip i actually like the feel of uh, of the rubber uh i don't know but that's just my personal preference um i guess um yeah um so what's the yeah and in in terms of the guns it's such an iconic um thing uh it's in a lot of the movies like the the hero the good guys always use the 92 fs like in die hard and uh bruce willis and um um yeah lethal weapon uh, mel gibson 
Yeah, so it's such an iconic gun. I think that's kind of ingrained into me. And um, and to be honest, I, I, I'm I'm I basically I basically just bought it when I first got into the shooting sport. It's just because of that nostalgic reason in the '80s. Um, and I just love the look of it. So I still do up like today. I I still shoot it uh, very often. Uh, I like the gun. Um, and I have no regret getting it. It's uh, uh, it's something that um. Uh, I would say, um, if uh, uh, like I, I'm kind of a more proponent of like maybe finding a gun that fits you. But for this specific case, if you do like the gun, <laughs> like for myself, I'm actually kind of going against what I preach. Uh, even though it's not a good fit for me, I still have no regret getting it. And I think this uh, the Beretta 92 FS is an excellent gun. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, yeah and thanks and uh, yeah leave me a comment like uh, if you have any things to share your experience with 92 fs uh any tips as well like i uh, want to always improve on my shooting uh yeah and to, just to see how i can do better uh in uh, in this and getting more ac uh, consistent especially with my groupings and uh yeah and just overall uh improve my shooting uh capabilities yeah uh, thank you all hope you enjoyed the video